Hello, and welcome to my tutorial series on how to make a 2D platformer in Unity. In today's video, we will be covering the very basics of animations. What we hope to accomplish, or what we will accomplish, is that when the game begins, our character will initiate a small idle animation. So let's begin. So there's basically two types of animations in Unity. There's pixel animation, and then there's skeletal animation. Uh, we will not be doing skeletal animation at all in this series. We'll be solely doing pixel animation. So pixel animation is very much like the old school way of doing animation where you just drew a different picture that, that was a little different from the other and you sort of played them together real fast and they, they gave the semblance of something moving. If you go down here to our uh, asset folder under art under pixel adventures we have our main characters here i'm using virtual guy i think they all have the same animations in here but if you go to you can see here that we have a double jump fall hit idle jump run and wall jump and if you click on any of these arrows you'll see that each little picture here is a little different from the other and i believe let's see if i can accomplish this uh, if I click here on this guy and I just take my arrow key and I just click it real fast if you look actually what we're looking for is right down here uh, when you click on it you should see it right here in the inspector window when I move my arrow key really fast it gives this idea or the look of him moving even right here in the editor so let's get started with our animating first we're going to go over here and we're going to click on our assets and we're going to create a new folder and we're going to call it animations and then we're going to go up here to window we're going to click on that we're going to scroll down to the word animation go over to the word animation or hit Control six and we're going to click on that move this up here and now yours might be closed like this simply just drag it open like that and we're going to click on player and when we click on player it says to begin animating player create an animation clip which is what we're going to make right now uh, and then we're going to hit create and just make sure that you're putting this in your animations folder here and if you look this right here i think we went over this earlier uh this right here assets animations is the hierarchy of this right down here if i were to go to assets and that has all my folders just like it does down here so click on animations and we're gonna call our new animation we're gonna call it we're just gonna simply call it player idle because the very first animation we're going to do is going to be the animation of his just standing idle just standing still and it will be a dot anim file we're going to hit save and now when we saved we got two things here we have our animation clip which is right here it's the box we opened up here and right here if we click on our player we have an animator and we're going to get to that in a second let's just concentrate right now on our player idle animation clip so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go down to our virtual guy character here in our pixel adventures uh folder and then we're going to we're not going to use the run animation we're here to use the idle animation and we're just going to click on the first one we're going to go all the way over to the last picture. We're going to hit shift and we're going to click on that and we're going to highlight everything here. We're going to grab it all together. Oh, we got to be in player. So we'll have to do this again. Click on the first one, shift click on the last one. There you should have this little plus box looking thing. And we're going to drop it all in right there. And as you can see, it dropped all our animations together in this little this little space right here if we click over here on this arrow where it says player sprite we will be able to see all our guys bunched up right here we'll just leave it like that for now so 
And right here, we can see that we're going to be at a sample rate of 60. Now, you might not have the, this right here. If you don't go all the way to the right here where these three dots are and click this. And I'll show you how it shut off. So I'll click it and it'll disappear. I'll go back and I'll hit it again and it will reappear there. Um, and so our our animation is going to be playing at uh, 60 frames per second, which is normally the standard of what is done in animation in games. But let's see if I can just drag this. So if I drag this down right here and I hit play. And as you can see, my guy is bouncing really fast. And the reason why he's bouncing really fast, the, by the way, the only way this this happened just because it, the it just expanded out. Nothing, nothing changed here that they're all separated. They were just bunched together because if you saw um, the 10 was way over here, it was just you can you can you can take this and you can move it inward. So anyway, he's bouncing really fast. And, and to do that, I, all I did was hit play. So he's bouncing really flat. I'm sorry, really fast. And the reason is, is because he's playing at 60 frames per second. So I'm going to click that off and we're going to slow him down a little bit. I'm going to hit 20. Make sure you hit enter. Otherwise, it won't uh, set in. Hit play again. And now he's bouncing, but it's a little slower. We'll let's see about speeding this up a little bit. Let's make him 30 frames per second. So that looks a lot better. So now, some of you, when you first hit play, your guy didn't really start bouncing around automatically. You had to, got to keep clicking player here. You had to turn it on and off with the play button. And the reason for that is the next thing we have to get into Let's shut him off for a second. The next thing, we, uh, the reason for that is the next thing we're going to get into is when is the animator controller. So go here. So what we created right now, this is an animation clip highlighted by this uh, blue triangle. And right here is the animation controller, which is actually a component here. If we go to my our expector window, slide down, we have our animator or animator controller listed right here and it is called player so we'll move this back over here we'll clean this up a little later to make ourselves or give ourselves more uh, efficiency with our workspace but i'm going to click right here on the animation controller and we'll just lower this right here and if you move the mouse wheel back and forth like this you can zoom in and out and we'll talk about the any any state box another time and, and the exit. Right now, we're going to concentrate on these two boxes, the entry and the player idle. Now, some of you, when you opened up this uh, window, your player idle was orange like it is here, like it, mine is. Some of you have a, let's see, create state. Some of you have something like this where your green box points to an orange box. I don't know what it says on yours and your player idle is gray. And that is why, um, and, and because it's gray, that's why when you hit play, I can do it right here. Actually, when I hit play, he doesn't do anything till I push play down here on the animation clip. And the reason for that is that when I'll shut it off for a second, when the game begins, um, when I hit play, it's going to start at this entry point, and this arrow is called a transition. It's going to transition into uh, an animation clip, and in this one, there's nothing going on in it. And so what we want to do is we want our player idle to be the very first animation that happens when we hit play. So to do that is we're going to right-click on it, and we're going to go to Set as Layer Default State. And I'm just going to get rid of this one because I don't need it. So now this is the very first animation. This animation clip right here is the very first animation that will play after we 
hit play for playing the game. And it is always like this. You're always going to have an entry point and the very first animation is going to be orange and all the other animations will be a gray color. And we'll go into far more detail um, later on when we add all our other animations in and how they're set up and how they transition and how to connect them to our controller or, or connect them to our scripts rather in future videos. It's basically where we're going to stop today. Uh, before we go, I'm just going to recap everything we did. Uh, animation is quite a dense subject. There's a lot of there's a lot more things for us to go over, uh, and where we will be going over all of them in future videos because uh, we have a lot more animations to put in. We have to put our running animation, our jumping animation, and as we go through all these things, the the bigger picture will start will start emerging and you'll understand what's going on a little more, especially in here. It's a little hard to understand a lot about the controller with just two animations, but I don't like to make these videos too long. So like I said, we're going to recap. We took, um, we went, we went and took our little pixel, uh, sprites here that are already pre-made for animation. Each little one is made a little different from the other. And then we combined them together into an animation clip which is what we did in here. And that's what this box is. This is an animation clip. And then we went into our animation controller, which is here, and we set our animation clip to play as soon as we hit, or as soon as the game begins. Okay, so as always, thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and support me on Patreon. All links are in the description below. See you next time.